working it out now, Dawn. We've got the points. Are you all well? Yeah. My name's Myra. Everyone say hello, Myra. Hello, Myra. Uh, on the count of three, everyone say your name. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, now we can all add and poke each other on Facebook. Are you well? Yeah. Are you well? Yeah. Are you well in yourselves? We're all here for one specific reason, aren't we? Look at you taking pictures there on your iPhone. What's that for? Are you filming it? You didn't ask, did you? People like you kill Princess Diana. <laughs> And I think we've set a level for the evening. <laughs> uh, back in that, uh, we've got, we had, we had about four drag queens upstairs all getting ready, tarting themselves up to come in. Uh, Rose Sandra, <laughs> who is on her own in the dressing room there, cooped up like Anne Frank, with no one to talk to in case she got wind of what anyone was going to say about her. Uh, she's not on Clapham Common or Hampstead East, is she? No. Do you want a microphone? Makes a, Makes a change, it does. Um, I have to confess something before you right now, Vauxhall. Up until ten minutes ago, I had never met Sandra. No. I'd never met her. I'd seen her acts, God knows I'd seen her acts, but I'd never met her. <laughs> and the first thing, I went into there, and the first thing uh, she said to me, uh, Lola introduced her, she said, uh, oh, Sandra, this is Myra. And without so much as a hello, Sandra turned around and said, can I slag you off, girl? So there we go. That's the kind of level we'll be working on for the rest of the evening. What have I got here? Two pounds of potatoes, a loaf of bread, two... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong list. <laughs> now, I chatted with Lola earlier, ladies and gentlemen. I was a little bit worried about what to say tonight, having known you for <coughs> years, ladies and gentlemen. And Lola said to me, she said, just say it from the heart. So here it goes. You're a fucking cunt. I've never liked you. Good night. <laughs> I am here very much in a neutral position. I'm here to, to n let things not get too heated. <laughs> Although I've just been in that dressing room telling Sandra everything they've been saying upstairs, you know. <laughs> so, uh, guarantee you enjoy yourselves. I mean, you've paid a tenner to get here, you've got to enjoy yourself. And on the subject of that, we are here raising money for the Terence Higgins Trust. Where are they? Terence Higgins people, are they over there? And don't worry, obviously, the irony of us raising money for a HIV and AIDS char charity in the name of someone who is sexually promiscuous hasn't escaped me. <laughs> but let's not go there. Let's... Right! <laughs> Isn't it funny you can't read your own writing when you're shit-faced pissed? Back in Andrew. All the time, turn out, but I've got no ink in my printer. Anyway. We are here, uh, courtesy of QX magazine. Woo! That's the one that publishes the cock. That's the one that you like, because it's not, it's not as coy as the other one. And they've got a big banner up there at the back, just in case. In case you forget what publication we're here with, just turn over there. They've got a huge poster, like what the Nazis used to do. Just <laughs> letting us know. <laughs> Right, right, I've got a bit common. <laughs> Don't know why I'm bothered looking at you fucking slags. <laughs> to think this is what I aspire to be. Anyway, I was thinking when it was, I don't know, should I talk to them? I know you're there. I can smell you. I know you. I was thinking it was probably around the time you were doing Sandra Lucia and Millie Turner. If they were doing that today, they'd be called Sluck. But, uh, because everyone's abbreviating, aren't they? Because the kids can't spell, that's why. Well. But um, that's, I think that's when I first met you. And then um, through uh, Millie, we got to be friends and everything. And then um, I was meant to, just as my husband, DJ Little John, ladies and gentlemen, I was asked to do four weeks cover at the Black Cab as the DJ when Sandra first went live. <laughs> It seems like only yesterday. <laughs> I'm on very good tablets, by the way. So, um, I was only meant to be there for four weeks, but on the second week, Sandra had a word with Jimmy Smith, who was the manager then. She's been back, she's been back and forth like a ping pong table, Miss Smith. She really has. And um, so, it's thanks to you and Chris Ridden that I'm still fucking at the Black Cat, ladies and gentlemen. You get less for murder after 17 years. Anyway, so, 
where was I? It was, was it Corruption or Whorehouse was the first? It was Corruption as it was called first. I can't remember which name came first, ladies and gentlemen. It's a long time ago and I was on quite a lot of drugs then, to be honest. No, thank you. Pro plus for me. It's cheaper. Anyway, so but it was when we used to do Sundays uh, with Tomboy, the lovely stripper Tomboy. Uh, that's when Sandra first went live, ladies and gentlemen. And I used to bring the seven inch single of Brown Girl in the Ring. <laughs> Side, rivers of Babylon, ladies and gentlemen. So it's my fault, I'm afraid. It's my fault, ladies and gentlemen. She used to mime it then. Blame Joe and Joe for the rest. Anyway. Uh, well, 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 I mean, it goes without saying, we're here in the Royal Vauxhall Tavern. Do you like, do you like, look at the curtains they've invested in. Aren't they gorgeous? They, uh, Rob stole them from Love Muscle. Do any of you queens remember Love Muscle? Excuse me for looking at that mature table down there as they asked that question. Maybe you were too out of it, but they're second hand curtains, but first hand entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Photo shoot, Sandra was all glam, a bit like tonight. <laughs> so fucking dress, to be honest. But I was nude and I had a 12 inch record covering my private parts, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Flowers took that photo. To this day, he has never shown me the real photo where my foreskin was hanging underneath. <laughs> underneath that 12 inch, because I'm not the biggest boy in the business, ladies and gentlemen, but I had had a wank session with Simon Levans the night before, so... <laughs> Looked like Gandalf's fucking sleeve, anyway. <laughs> there is, of course, talking of Tomboy, the moment when Tomboy tied himself up, ready to go, he banged it on the fucking side, bought it, <laughs> getting it ready, tied it all up and everything, she said, we just do the one number, girl. I can do impressions. <laughs> that was Rusty Lee. <laughs> So anyway, after six songs, Tomboy, Tomboy couldn't go on, ladies and gentlemen. His knob, to be honest, looked like a, well, it looked like a Cadbury's Dairy Milk letter, right? Was that, it was that fucking purple and bruised, yeah. She took the string off, spunk went flying all over the dressing room. I think marvellous. And on that seamless link, let me get me running order out. Yeah. Right, we're going to get the queens on stage now. Dawn, could I have a bit of music, please? Please, welcome to the stage, in no particular order whatsoever, all the way from Brighton, it's Miss Dame Lynn! Give her all away as she descends into the booth and reappears on the stage, the illuminated runway of joy. It's Dame Lynn, ladies and gentlemen! Yes, take a perch anywhere. It's been very loosely organised, this event. Following her, all the way from over there, it's Mrs. Moore! Come on, girl! Mrs. Moore's looking radiant today in a sort of crushed black velvet. On she walks to Joy Dave Lynn, who is signalling to the bar that she'd like a drink. Would you like a drink, Paul? She'd love a drink. Dave Lynn would like a... No, no, because shit just got real. What do you want to drink, Dave Lynn? A bottle of white. <laughs> She'd like a bottle of white wine, please. And while we're at it, I'll have a snake bite. Let's get another queen on stage. All the way from Brighton, it's Lola Lasagna! <laughs> Come on, Lola, join your, your friends and teams on stage. Look at them, she's the dilemma. Do I go forward? Why are you afraid of these hunt stools? Go on, one of you sit on a front stool. Sit on a front stool. Tell you what we'll have. Dave Lynn and Mrs. Moore on the front two stools, because you're the queens that are roasting first, you see. Okay, and uh, then finally, but by no means least, Miss Titty LeCamp! <laughs> Come on, join your friends on the stage, Titty. Now, you're not allowed microphones, but in your biggest voices, can you give a noise that lets the RVT know how you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your roasters! Yeah. And now, finally, the woman who is going to be roasted in front of you all tonight, not for the first time, I dare say, if what I've heard is true. <laughs> Please, give it up for the one, the only, Sandra! She's got 
style. She's got great legs, and gentlemen. And I must mention the filming of How Clean Is Your House? Uh, when we snuck upstairs, Jimmy Smith got Neil out of the way at Compton's. We went upstairs at Compton's, so it was one of Neil's many fucking leaving parties, Jim. <laughs> You can't might become a fucking manager to you. Piss off and come back and get two pubs. Anyway. <laughs> that's me fired in the morning. Anyway. We went upstairs to be dressed as Kim and Aggie and we found a floating turd, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she might run two pubs, but she don't fucking flush. Anyway. <laughs> but we did get to see Jason's arse, didn't we, dear? Lovely. Spotty as fuck, but lovely. Anyway. There's so much that amazes me about you, Sandra. Many things, like how you always manage to find the biggest cock in the room, be you in drag or out of drag. <laughs> Keep that for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> or when you're on stage and there's a member of the audience that's from another country, you always manage to know the cottage or the cruising ground from that country, whether you've been there or not. Honestly, that is an amazing talent, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. You should. Yes! I think, I think you should go on Mastermind as that is your specialist subject. <laughs> Even in Thorpe Park she found the gay toilet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but it won't go until she walked in. But anyway, there is of course that time you helped the guy in the wheelchair at the, to the toilets at the black cab and then proceeded to have sex with him, ladies and gentlemen. So she is an equal opportunities employer. <laughs> Then there's the time you gave me your old phone and forgot to delete all the photos. <laughs> she swears to this day that weren't my knob, girl, it weren't my knob, but darling, I've seen you wearing the same sandals. So <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, but in the end, she did it anyway. So, also, I have to mention working with you, with you as part of the Dolly Mixtures, ladies and gentlemen, the world renowned Dolly Mixtures. They're no longer together. Masquerade took care of that. Anyway, uh, just put that bit in. I love the fact of rehearsals, you never know the fucking words. You still pull it out the bag on New Year's Eve, even when we're all still in the dressing room, ten minutes before showtime, and you're still not fucking there. <laughs> Mind you, timekeeping's never been your strongest point, has it? So, there's also the fact that you could never get hold of Sandra, ladies and gentlemen, between the hours of 1pm and 5pm, because she's usually in the cinema. <laughs> And I don't mean the Odeon, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Some fellow members, dear fellow members. Dirty fucking sluts. Where else? Oh, I've done that. We nearly finished. There is, of course, I must thank you for the time that we went to CXR and you introduced me to tranny sex. Oh, Flynn remembers that's put me off to. No, it was just the first time I'd ever done tranny sex in the live flesh, ladies and gentlemen. But like I aforementioned earlier, it was a fucking massive cock, ladies and gentlemen. And we both went back for seconds, if I remember, alongside Rose Garden and a couple of other acts. Shut was tenure in it all. No wonder I get cold sores. <laughs> Sooner after, John. Sooner after. Anyway, right, I know this is meant to be a roasting, and, uh, but I've got to take this opportunity, darling, seriously, while I've got an audience that I've not had as big an audience in years. All right, thank you. That's your fucking chance. But I fucking love you. Um, I'm proud and honoured to be part of your career, ladies and gentlemen. To watch Sandra hone your craft over the years has been a joy. And I always, I can't read my own fucking mind, do I always look forward to working with you. You're on at the cap on Saturday, by the way. Don't be fucking late, do you? Right, do and uh, it's always a joy, but can you sing some more of your old songs, dear? Because as a DJ, you sing the modern hits, and I'm fucked for something to play when you're fucking finished. <laughs> I'm 
all the kids are on meow meow now, so. <laughs> Or China white, it's cheaper and you can get it in clone zone. Anyway, <laughs> makes your shit smell. Anyway, <laughs> I love the names, they're applauding, they're not listening. Done it. Anyway, I've, been, I've had the pleasure of being on ITV on, with you on Late Night Ladies. And what did happen to that dress that Sletislav cut too short? We've never fucking worn that again. That's because you looked at him. Anyway. <laughs>